let's take a look at how the CMC process works. It all starts here with polysilane powder. By melting this powder, we're able to spin, cure, and heat treat it into a high-strength, corrosion-resistant, low-density silicon carbide fiber, each one only a fifth the diameter of a human hair. The finished strands then have four proprietary coatings applied, coatings that enhance the fiber that build its height, strength, and creep resistance. Next, the treated fiber is passed through a slurry of solvents, binders, and plasticizers, and spooled around a wet drum, transforming these fibers into a workable tape, large sheets of unidirectional fiber. When finished, it's on to the next phase of production. Tape is fed into a computerized machine that precisely cuts it into the sizes and shapes needed for the specific part being produced. When done, cutout plies are stacked to the desired thickness on a form or tool. The plies are oriented to use the high fiber strength properties for each layer across the thickness of the part, often alternating fiber direction through the thickness. Once all the plies are in place, the tool is put in an autoclave where low heat and high pressure transitions the layered plies into a molded part. The part then goes through a burnout process to convert all remaining organic material to carbon. The open pores created by the burnout process are melt infiltrated with silicon to add density and complete the conversion to a SIC fiber and matrix part capable of withstanding 2,400 degrees. Still, there's more to be done. Before CMC components can be put into service, additional work is needed to assure fit and quality. Since silicon carbide CMC is one of the hardest materials on Earth, GE uses industrial diamond drills and discs to machine and shape parts for final installation. Like all of GE's engine components, each part gets a rigorous multi-point inspection and image analysis to guarantee the physical geometrical characteristics and provide a supplemental level of precision. Finally, the integrity of the complete structure is assessed by CT scan, where any defects are discovered. From there, these parts are coated with a thermal and environmental protective. Only when all these tasks are complete, over 50 separate steps in all, is a CMC part ready for service.